Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button before we begin. For more engaging videos, subscribe to my channel. Let's get straight to the make money with real estate please watch the entire video. Real estate investing has the potential to quickly increase your wealth, but only if you are astute, watchful, and foresighted as to make the best choices at the appropriate times. In the real estate industry, there are many different investing methods and ways to profit. But it's important to keep in mind that some investing techniques are better for seasoned investors, while others are more advantageous for newcomers. Real estate is a rich industry, yet it might be intimidating to begin dealing in real estate. Why? Because there are a lot of fears around the industry. Investors are worried that if the property project turns out to be a hoax, they would lose their hard-earned money. Or they think that in order to invest in real estate, one must be a billionaire. The opposite is not always true. All you need to do is know how to spot a good business opportunity. One gains from increasing property value in real estate. The most frequent way that real estate generates income is via appreciating, or rising in value. For different sorts of property, this is accomplished in various ways, but it can only be done one way, by selling. But there are a number of ways you can boost the return on your property investment. If you borrowed money to purchase the property, one option is to refinance the loan at a reduced interest rate. This will increase the amount you clear from the property and decrease your cost basis for it. Developing undeveloped land is, of course, the most obvious way to increase its value. The potential for land outside of city limits to be purchased by developers causes its value to rise as cities grow. That value increases even further after developers construct residences or office buildings. The location of a residential property is frequently the most important determining factor in appreciation. A home's worth increases as the neighborhood around it develops and gains new amenities like playgrounds, retail malls, and transit routes. Of course, the opposite of this trend can also occur, with house values declining as a community becomes run down. Adding value to your home might also encourage it. Some methods a homeowner might use to try to raise a home's worth include adding an extra bathroom, heating a garage, and updating a kitchen with cutting-edge appliances. Location, development, and upgrades are the same factors that increase the value of residential and commercial property. There is always a desire for the best commercial properties. 2. Real estate income from profits. By offering consistent income payments, real estate creates wealth in a second major way. Real estate income, which is frequently referred to as rent, can take many different forms. Basic land revenue. Companies may pay you royalties for any discoveries or recurring payments for any structures they install, depending on your land rights. Pump jacks, pipelines, gravel pits, access roads, and cell towers are a few examples. Property tracks with trees may be valuable for the timber that may be regularly collected, and undeveloped land can also be rented out for production, typically agricultural development. Income from residential property. Basic rent makes up the vast majority of residential property income. You deduct your expenses from the predetermined monthly payment that your tenants make to you and count the balance as rental revenue. This amount will increase with inflation and demand. To guarantee that you can readily secure tenants, an attractive location is crucial. Income from commercial property. Commercial properties have the potential to generate revenue from the aforementioned sources, with basic rent once more being the most prevalent, and an additional source known as option income. For contractual rights like the first option on the office next door, many business tenants will pay fees. Regardless of whether they use their options, tenants pay a premium to hold them. Options income for vacant land and even residential property may exist, but they are uncommon. Three paths to profits in residential real estate. Here is a closer look at a few of the numerous ways that residential homes might generate revenue for you. Invest and hold. One of the more established methods of profiting from real estate is this one. There are several ways to do this, including, you can buy a single-family home and rent it out, buy a multi-family home and live in one unit while renting the others, ideally to pay off the mortgage and your own housing costs, or buy a multi-family home and rent every unit, either managing the property yourself or hiring a management company to take care of renting out units, collecting rent, taking care of necessary repairs, and other such tasks. Property Flipping Real estate investors who flip properties focus on quickly making high return repairs to homes before offering them for sale. If you know where to discover properties to fix up, if you have the abilities to execute the repairs yourself or manage a crew to do them, and if you have an understanding of the costs and potential value of a property, flipping can be a rewarding business. 
holiday rentals and Airbnb. Since many travelers favored this choice to staying in a hotel, the demand for home away from home rentals had increased significantly in recent years. Particularly if the property is located in a well-known tourist location, homeowners could make money by short-term renting out a house or even just a room. When that market will come back is uncertain. However, bear in mind that short-term rentals are governed and occasionally even prohibited in some places in case they recur. Before putting up a listing on a service like Airbnb, Verbo, or HomeAway, check your city's ordinances. Consider the extra expenditures associated with additional deep cleaning and sanitizing in between guests. Flips of renovated homes. The fix and flip movement has taken off. The market for traditional renovation flips is witnessing a tremendous increase as a result of the success of home improvement shows. While there is undoubtedly a lot of money to be gained in this area, it can be challenging to navigate the waters at first. If you choose the wrong home because you lack the necessary information or experience, you can wind up losing out. When you've made the necessary improvements and repairs, how much will the house be worth? You need a solid working relationship with a general contractor and a site visit to make that determination. Although purchasing sight unseen at an auction may sound appealing, unless you are extremely knowledgeable, you run the risk of losing money. Flipping contracts. Flipping contracts is one way to profit from real estate without having to put up much capital or credit. All you need to do is locate a seller who is in need of help and a buyer who is eager to buy. Finding a ready-to-go buyer and a distressed seller are the keys to contract flipping. You've avoided the need to look for a buyer after you've signed a deal by bringing these parties together. That circumstance carries higher danger. You can easily sign into a contract with the assurance that you won't be forced to close escrow on the property by finding the sellers and the purchasers in advance. You must be able to spot either empty houses or houses that are in mortgage default in order to accomplish this. The tough aspect is that. In actuality, you're looking for distressed sellers, but vacant homes are ideal for a situation like this. A short sale. Short sales happen when a homeowner is delinquent on their mortgage but the house hasn't yet gone into foreclosure. Since the property is being sold for less than is owing on the current mortgages, all parties involved in the transaction must consent for it to proceed. Without making any renovation investments, this could be a fantastic opportunity to turn a rapid profit. Short sales and other default type auctions might be challenging to win, though. The majority of the time, you must pay for the houses in full with cash, sometimes even without seeing them beforehand. Short sales are preferable to auctions because you have the opportunity to inspect the property and engage in a bargaining process. Although short sales take time, the wait may be well worth it. A short sale may yield a quick return on investment. The bank is involved in a disastrous investment, therefore tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars could appear as soon as the property acquisition is completed. But don't anticipate getting the property for a pittance, you'll still need to haggle over a very reasonable amount. Don't try to lowball too much because depending on how hard the bank wants to sell that home, it might wait around and find another bidder. 4. Alternative Sources of Income from Real Estate Investment options in the real estate industry include mortgage-backed securities, MBSs, real estate investment trusts, rights, mortgage investment corporations, MICs, and real estate investment groups, RIGs. They are typically seen of as vehicles for generating real estate income, although their entry and exit procedures might vary. 5. Alternative Real Estate Investment Methods One choice is an informal residential real estate option, which entitles you to the right to purchase a home for a predetermined amount of time at an agreed-upon price in exchange for a premium that must be paid. Then you track down investors who will purchase the property for more than your option price. The premium you receive in this situation is effectively a finder's fee for connecting a buyer with a seller, which is similar to the commission an estate agent receives. Despite being revenue, this doesn't result from owning, i.e., having the deed to, any real estate. What are your thoughts on our video? Please share your insightful feedback with us in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video.